The sea cucumber is an oblong sea creature in the Holotheridia class. Researchers recognize at least 1,700 different species. They place all of the various species in the taxonomic phylum Echinodermata. This means that their closest relatives include starfish and sea urchins. Description of the sea cucumber. This group contains a wide variety of different colors and sizes. However, most have a similar elongated body shape, similar to that of a rather lumpy cucumber. Most species measure anywhere between a few inches and a foot long. However, the largest species reach a length of up to 10 feet. Interesting facts about the sea cucumber. A wide variety of different species exist. Learn more about a few unique species. The first one, tiger's tail. This species has one of the longest body lengths of any species. It often exceeds six feet in length. Its name comes from its multitude of stripes, which give it the appearance of a tiger's tail. The second one, pineapple sea cucumber. This endangered species has multiple growths on the skin of its body. These growths, known as teats, have star-like shapes and cover the entire body. People in Asia often eat this species. The third one, sandfish. Another endangered species, this creature gets its name from the sandy coloration of its skin. People have eaten this species for many years, and this pressure has reduced populations significantly. For this reason, many hatcheries in Asia raise this species in tanks to restock wild populations. The fourth one, giant California sea cucumber. This species has uniquely striking coloration, with red skin and orange growths. They prefer intertidal zones with rocky bottoms. Habitat of the sea cucumber. These creatures live in a wide variety of different habitats. All but a select few live on the seafloor, though a handful of species can swim. A large number of species live in deep waters. In the deep sea, these creatures make up the bulk of living organisms. Many also live in shallow waters, including rocky intertidal zones. Distribution of the sea cucumber. You can find these creatures in oceans virtually worldwide. Some species live across vast regions, while others occupy only a small area. They only live in saltwater habitats, and do not range into freshwater. Though they live in every ocean, the greatest species diversity occurs in the western Pacific Ocean. Diet of the sea cucumber. Most of the various species scavenge for anything edible. They feed on detritus, or decaying matter, that drifts to the seafloor. Their mouths have rows of tentacles around them, which they use to sift through the sand in search of anything edible. They also use the tentacles to catch food as it drifts by. Sea cucumber and human interaction. People do not interact with the vast majority of species. However, humans do catch and eat a number of different holotheroids. People, particularly in Asia, have been eating these creatures for thousands of years. Some also dry them and use them for medicinal purposes, the effectivity of which has yet to be fully determined. Does the sea cucumber make a good pet? No, you wouldn't want a sea cucumber as a pet. Some people keep them in saltwater aquariums, but their maintenance and upkeep is quite time-consuming and expensive. Sea Cucumber Care People in some regions raise these creatures in aquaculture tanks. Some aquariums also keep them, particularly for use in touch tanks. They house them in saltwater aquariums with parameters close to their natural habitat, including salinity, depth, pH, temperature, and more. The Behavior of the Sea Cucumber One of the more popularly known behaviors of this creature is its ability to expel its insides from its anus in self-defense. In reality, these sticky strings, known as cuvierian tubules, are not the cucumber simply spitting all its guts out, but a specialized defensive system. The tubes grow back in a week or two. Reproduction of the sea cucumber. The reproductive rates and habits vary by species, most reproduction occurs via spawning. The cucumber releases its eggs and sperm into the water at a given time, usually determined by lighter temperature. A handful of species carry the fertilized eggs within their bodies to give live birth. These are some facts about sea cucumbers. The first one, sea cucumbers are animals. One of the most surprising things about sea cucumbers may be that they are animals, not plants. Yes, that blob in the image is an animal. There are about 1,500 species of sea cucumbers, and they display a variety of colors, shapes, and sizes. They can be from less than an inch to several feet in length. The second one, relatives of sea stars, sand dollars, and urchins. Although they don't look like it, sea cucumbers are related to sea stars, sea urchins, and sand dollars. This means they are echinoderms. Most echinoderms have visible spines, but the spines of a sea cucumber are tiny ossicles embedded in their skin. For some sea cucumber species, the tiny ossicles provide the only visible clue to the species' identity. The shape and size of these ossicles are examined under a microscope because they are so small. 
Like other echinoderms, sea cucumbers have a water vascular system and tube feet. The water vascular system of sea cucumbers is filled with body fluid rather than seawater. Sea cucumbers have a mouth at one end and a nuss at the other. A ring of tentacles the mouth. These tentacles that collect food particles. Some sea cucumbers filter feed, but many obtain food from the ocean bottom. As the tentacles push into the ocean bottom, food particles attach to mucus. Although they have five rows of tube feet, sea cucumbers move very slowly, if at all. The third one, sea cucumbers breathe through their anus. Yes, sea cucumbers breathe through a respiratory tree that is connected to their anus. The respiratory tree lies inside the body on either side of the intestine and connects to the cloaca. The sea cucumber breathes by drawing oxygenated water in through the anus. The water goes into the respiratory tree and oxygen is transferred into the fluids within the body cavity. The fourth one, sea cucumbers play an important role in cycling nutrients. Some sea cucumbers collect food from the surrounding water, while others find food on or in the ocean bottom. Some sea cucumbers bury themselves fully in the sediment. The fifth one, sea cucumbers are found from shallow tide pools to the deep sea. Sea cucumbers live in a wide range of habitats, from shallow coastal areas to the deep sea. They are found in oceans around the world. The sixth one, sea cucumbers can expel their inner organs. Sea cucumbers have a surprising defense mechanism in which they will expel their inner organs, if they feel threatened, or even if they are overcrowded, or subjected to poor water quality in an aquarium. Some sea urchins, like the one shown here, expel cuvierian tubules. These are located at the base of the respiratory tree, the sea cucumber's breathing organ. These tubercles can be expelled, if the sea cucumber is disturbed. In addition to expelling these tubercles, sea cucumbers can expel internal organs. This process, called evisceration, may occur if the sea cucumber is disturbed or threatened. It may also occur regularly, possibly as a way for the sea cucumber to purge its inner organs of excess wastes or chemicals. Once the organs are discharged, they regenerate within days or weeks. The seventh one, there are male and female sea cucumbers. In most species of sea cucumbers, there are both males and females, although differences aren't externally visible. Many species reproduce by spawning broadcasting their sperm and eggs into the water column. There, the eggs are fertilized and become swimming larvae that later settle to the ocean bottom. The eighth one, sea cucumbers are edible. Sea cucumbers are harvested for use in food and medicine. Sea cucumbers have catch connective tissue, which seems to magically go from being stiff to flexible in mere seconds. This aspect of the sea cucumber is being studied for its potential application to the health and repair of human tendons and ligaments. These animals are considered a delicacy in some areas, and are especially popular in Asian countries. However, the unregulated harvest of sea cucumbers has caused a decline in some areas. In January 2016, rules were put into place to restrict sea cucumber harvesting in Hawaii due to the decimation of nearshore populations in Maui and Oahu.